Welcome everybody to another episode of Red Carpet Fashionistas, your do's and don'ts for Red Carpet Fashion. In this episode, we were able to attend the Jamie Kennedy premiere party. I know, so special. Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, okay, Jamie they get the point. They... <gasps> Jamie Kennedy. I post myself. That day, I had to have dinner with friends, and then afterwards, she had it was it was a birthday. Friends. It was a birthday party she dinner, and so I had to go. No, no, I get it. I so get it. Yeah. I went to the dinner, and what I decided to do was to wear the dress from the dinner to the red carpet. I left my hair down. It was straight. It was simple. I wore a blue loose fitting dress that actually. When you see me in it, it's very complimentary and it looks very ethnic. I got a lot of compliments that night. On the red carpet, it looks like it. How does it look? I mean, explain it's it to frumpy. me. It's frumpy. Yeah. I look frumpy. The frumpy clothes with the, with the boots, it kind of gives off yeah. that frumpy look. Yeah, and it was actually a cold night, which is why I decided the black yeah. boots. But I mean, I you still, do, I mean, you still look hot, but it's just like not red carpet hot. But then we went upstairs and we were just kind of like mingling. Again, your carpet, uh, your dress looked great. Just on the carpet, I think it wasn't as successful. Yeah, it did, it looked frumpy. No. It was something that I had to learn yeah. from. Not everything goes on the red carpet, mm -hmm. and I probably should have chosen instead of boots for the carpet, really like sandals. Stiletto, yeah, exactly. Sexy. Boots were fine with the dress. Out with my friends. It was a cold night, mm -hmm. so yeah, as no, I said totally. Earlier, and so, and yeah. we're always promoting like, oh hey, what you wear to the red carpet, you can wear anywhere. You can wear this dress to like a dinner or a party, but you can't necessarily wear it to a red carpet. Mm -hmm. Anything you wear to a red carpet. You can wear elsewhere. When you go to a Jamie Kennedy event, you need to be hot because hello, it's Jamie Kennedy. I picked out, not a hot outfit, but a cute outfit. I was kind of like, okay, everyone else is gonna be hot because it's Jamie Kennedy, but I'm gonna go kind of cute. So I did, I kind of wore a really cutesy outfit. This dress I actually wore on a different red carpet for a movie premiere. So, you know, you know, recycle it and it looks great as long as it's still in season. It is, it is one of those dresses that may come and go with the fashion of the style and everything, mm -hmm. but I think at this point it's it's still well, in vogue. With your dress too, it's you don't want to upstage the actors when you go to premieres because that you look down upon on totally. that. Totally. So, you gotta be careful about that. So this dress, it's okay if you wore it again because you didn't want to upstage the actress. It's only when mm. you're the center of attention where you can't wear something you've worn before. Mm -hmm. Unless you know about it and you want it written about you. Yeah, totally. So for this red carpet, we actually got there a little later. Normally, we try to promote, you know, getting there early, for sure getting there on time, no matter what. But this one, we happened to get there a little later because she had a dinner and I had a previous engagement. Yeah. And it was actually to our benefit because there was, like, nobody on the carpet at that nobody. point. And so we just, like, rolled right on and it was not a big deal. But be careful out. with that because even when you're late, sometimes they'll take everything down before oh, you yeah. get there. So totally. you never know. It's it's a by chance thing. Mm -hmm. You might get there and the red carpet's over. That's, yeah. like, terrible. It was just our chance that it, it wasn't over. Yet. You know, we have to go up and hang out with everybody and we got to meet Jamie Kennedy and all mm -hmm. that kind of fun stuff. So um, it was it was cool. It was a good event. My tip of the day is what I had mentioned earlier, which is basically when you're on the carpet, whatever you wear, you can take it to a different event and wear it in any event that you want. But you got to be careful when it's the other way around. Remember, it's always about the camera and it's always about pictures and what you look like in those pictures. Because mm -hmm. a Pictures worth a thousand words. So you just have to be very careful once the other way around. So you're saying you can wear something on the carpet to an event, but you can't wear something necessarily from an event to the carpet? Yes. Okay, got it. My tip of the day is be careful what you wear to a red carpet when you're not the main celebrity or the main actress of like the film or the event because you don't want to upstage them. That's like just etiquette. If you find out that you are the main one and it is your movie or your show or you're the director or something, well then damn, you better go out of your way to look the best person there because if you don't, right. then they're going to be talking about that too. Very similar to if you go to like a wedding, you don't want to upstage the bride, right? Never. Come on. So Never. it's the same thing on a carpet. Just kind of be aware of your place. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a great time until we see you next.